Our reporter Meryl Carbone is live outside the courthouse for us tonight. Meryl, you've been there all day. You've seen people on both sides turn out. Yeah, it was really a lot tamer out here than some people may have expected. In fact, camera crews really outnumbered any of the protesters or supporters. In fact, one local woman I spoke to tells me she's never seen as many cameras anywhere in D.C. as she saw today. And that was part of the draw for her to come down here. Uh, that as well as being part of such a monumental day in the United States. Behind the noise. Left or right, there's at least one uniting factor drawing people to the former president's first appearance at this D.C. federal courthouse. I guess witness a little bit of history. Show support. It's history, too. And it is also very historic. Joy Shabbat is from D.C. She remembers January 6th clearly, the catalyst for Trump's latest indictment. People died. People didn't respect mm -hmm. our government. Uh, and our institutions. It's why she says she wants accountability, which she believes starts here inside a courtroom today. This is our process, uh, and it shouldn't be any different for this person than for any other person. Not only has a, a former president been indicted once, but three times. James Roberts traveled down from New York supporting the former president. He attended Trump's Manhattan arraignment, too. Today's hearing, another chapter in a narrative he calls a sham. Today is just uh, a formal hearing of the charges, but, uh, you know, it's going to be a while before the trial, if it even goes to trial. But, uh, you know, everyone's innocent until proven guilty, of course. If there isn't consequences for what happened, then it'll happen again. Tanya Layden says today is significant for the future of the country. We don't think that we're going to have a, a republic if we, if we don't have consequences. And at this point, it's pretty much cleared out down here by the courthouse, aside from the media. We do still have some of those security measures in place behind me. You might be able to see the fencing and tape still up around the courthouse. It's unclear how much longer that will be in place. Reporting live from the courthouse, I'm Arielle Carbone, DC News Now.